One of the questions we get asked frequently by our viewers is how to select where to fish. Now it's quite a difficult question to answer because there's so many factors that play a role in this question. I've decided I'll make up a little list of important factors you need to look at and hopefully that will help you in selecting where to fish. So the six pointers we're going to look at is fish species, bait, gear, conditions, water reading and finally at the end persistence. So let's start with the first one which is fish species. As you're fully aware seasons change, fish migrate, so whenever you go down to the coast there's different fish species that are active and I would suggest you go down to the beach, chat to the local fisherman who fishes every day or go to the local fishing store, find out what fish species are around and I think if you can determine that you've got a nice foundation to start from. The second point we're going to look at is bait. Now that we've determined what species we're after, we need to do a bit of homework and find out what specific bait this fish species likes to feed on. Now it's very, very important to get good quality bait. I often see guys come to the beach and they've got old, dried out bait. That's not the best thing to do. Put a lot of effort and time and maybe a bit of money into it and make sure you get good, fresh bait. If you've got good bait and the right bait for the fish species you're targeting, half the job's done already. The third point we're going to bring up is our gear and I think it's very very important that you've got a balanced outfit. So what do I mean by a balanced outfit? So let's take an example. If you're going to target a big shark, you're going to have a big rod, big reel with thick line, you're going to put a big bait out, so obviously you're going to have big hooks in this bait. Now that same rig is not going to work if you're going to target a small little edible fish like this. Then you've got to scale down a lot. A lighter rod, lighter line, lighter reel, smaller hooks, so make sure that your gear fits the type of fishing you want to do and that's very important. So the fourth point we're going to look at is conditions. Under conditions there's a few factors we're going to look at. The first one is your weather conditions. Make sure the weather conditions are favorable for the type of fish species you're going to target. For instance, if you want to go target bronze bream in the reefs, you want a nice working water, choppy sea, a lot of white water around. So look at those conditions and make sure it suits the species you're after. Under conditions there's one factor which I'd like to mention and that's time of the day. I personally find fishing early mornings, late afternoons into dark works best. And the reasoning for that, I think when you're talking about edible fish is that edible fish feel quite comfortable feeding in the dark. They're not seen that easily so they can feed comfortably. When it comes to non-edible fish like your sharks, my personal opinion is they're opportunists. They'll feed whenever there's food around so you'll find those fish day and night. Another fact I'd like to mention under conditions are tides. I think tides are very important. I personally like to fish on the turn of the tides and I think the reason why I like to fish on the turn of the tide is that the water is at its strongest. So there's a lot of upwelling from the water, food particles wash up, your smaller bait fish start feeding on these little particles and that in turn will get all your bigger predators going, chasing the little bait fish and there's just a big circle of life around and your chance of getting a fish then is just much better. The next point we're going to look at is water reading. The reason why water reading is so important is because different fish species feed in different areas. For instance, you get a lot of species that will feed on sandbanks where the water is rolling and churning. Other species would feed in the deeper troughs and holes and then obviously your reef species will be feeding in the reefs. There are species like Garrick and Cobb that like to sit next to a sandbank where there's a nice little rip waiting for the bait fish to come past, grab them and then feed from there. So water reading is a very, very important factor of fishing, something you ought to learn, spend time next to water, and if you can do that, your success rate will go up by a lot. Our last point you want to look at is persistence. Fishing is not always as easy as it seems, so persistence is very important. Spend the hours next to the water, spend the time trying different things, learning to read water and doing all these factors we spoke about, and your success rate will go up. Well guys, that was a very basic outline of fishing and I really hope this is going to help improve your chance of catching some fish.